I use Camtasia Studio 6 in order to record my screen and then upload to YouTube using the new high definition available to us. So I'm here in Camtasia Studio 6 and my normal procedure is this. I go ahead and do a record the screen option. Now that's going to bring up the little recorder toolbar that looks similar to this one. And I've set my recording size to 1024 by 576. And I do this because the monitor I use for most of my recordings is 1024 wide, so I've done the translation. If you have a 1280 wide resolution, then you would do 1280 by 720. Now within this recorder toolbar, I also go to Tools, Options, and then to Video. And for video, you want to set it to Manual and 30, fa 30 frames per second. And now, then you just record your video. And of course, it's going to be that rectangle shape. Once you're done recording, you'll be you'll be able to edit and you'll go into Camtasia Studio. You can actually do this at the same time or after the fact. Either way it'll work. Now I want to go ahead and create some new settings, some production presets, so future videos will automatically be ready for HD for YouTube. So to get this set up, I need to have a video to work with. So I'm just going to go into batch production here in the lower left and I'm just going to import something to work with. I'll add files, projects, and I'll just take in a sample camrec file that I've used in the past. And then I can click Next. And then I'll have available my presets. So my HD for YouTube preset is already in there. And I'm going to go to Preset Manager, and I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to call this um, HD for YouTube. Now, put a two in there. I don't think I already have that name being used. Okay, use the movie, QuickTime movie type. Of course, you want to have QuickTime player installed, so make sure before even doing this, you've gone to apple.com and downloaded the latest free version of QuickTime. Movie, QuickTime, and then I'm going to click the Next button. Okay, now you're going to go into QuickTime Options, and we've got our movie settings here. For movie settings, go into the settings for video. Make sure it's H.264. For frame rate, choose 30 frames per second. Keyframes automatic is fine. For compressor quality, choose best. Then click OK. For the size for the movie settings video, for dimensions, Choose 1280 by 720 HD, then OK. For sound settings, I'm going to choose 48 kilohertz, 16 bit stereo, OK. And let's see, prepare for internet streaming, fast start. I'm going to go ahead and, this probably isn't going to be a factor, but I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this. And I'll click OK. Then Next. For custom size, choose 1280 by 720. Background color is fine. Next, these are some basic settings regardless of the video format. And I'm just going to click Finish from there. Now that that's done, HD for YouTube 2 is one of my production presets. I'm going to go ahead and close this and then I can cancel this. So uh, after creating a recording, you're already going to you're going to have a video in there where you can of course do your um cropping and you can zoom and pan, which effects I use quite a bit. And once you're ready, you'll be able to go to produce video as and your video will have a cho you'll have the choice of the preset available to you.